Hey guys, uh, welcome back to It's a Metal Thing. Today I'm working on a small handrail project, stairs, short stairs and a little landing. Um, it's an older farmhouse. It's kind of a weird design. The stairs are right by the front door, like maybe six feet away. So there's like a little short run on the right, I think three or four steps and a little longer run, maybe a six foot long. And at the top there's a little um, like landing, if you will. So what I have is I have, she wanted a bigger post, so I have some three and a half, 120 wall tubing. There's three of them here that are 38, um, and there's two that are long. I cut these long. Um, so on this job, since the stairs are so close to the doorway, she didn't want that post right there. She wanted up a step. So I'm not really sure how long those are going to be. I'm going to mount them, uh, get them, and, and figure out the height once I get out there, maintaining a 36 inch off the toe of the stair. Uh, I'll show you all that later. But to make these more decorative, I'm going to surround the bottom with a little decorative detail. It's going to go around the bottom. And we don't want to see any mounting so what I'm doing is I cut these pieces of eighth inch steel. Um, on these three posts, I'm just gonna drill a hole in the center because they're gonna be self structural. They'll, they'll, the, the shape will lend itself to not really needing to be bolted down, I'm just gonna sit there. So all the hole in the center is going to do is just keep it from sliding or moving around that way. Now on these two here, they're gonna be mounted on a step. So I'm gonna put two holes, I'm gonna put one, put one in this corner and one in this corner uh, so that it won't rock back and forth, side to side, as you're going up the stairs. The, um, the structure itself will keep it from moving, you know, front to back. So that's the plan. All on, and so I'm gonna come through the top and bolt through. So I need a super long extension. And then on all of these, I'm gonna build a, a cap that's gonna go on. I'm also gonna use these. I'm gonna make a little cap that goes around, you know, a little slide over the top. And then I'm gonna do a little decorative uh, piece, probably a two by two piece of quarter inch. So it'll be like a little step, if you will. So follow along. Let's make it happen. Gonna get after it. Okay, handrail. So I'm making the caps for the tube, the, the post, if you will. I have to leave the top open or be able to access the bottom when I bolt it in. So what I've done here is I've taken this piece of uh, one inch of the same material. I've welded a piece of 14 gauge on here and on here to make it slightly larger to accommodate the powder coat. So. I have a little bit of a gap on either side, so I'm just going to center that up and fill that gap so it has weld. So you'll see there's a little gap there, a little gap there. Same as over here, this was a little bit bigger. I have this piece. This ended up being four and three eighths outside. I cut a piece of 14 gauge, four and a quarter, so it fits on there like that, and it just has a little bit of a, a little bit of a edge here that I can weld. And then what's going to happen is I'm going to take, I got this, uh, this is 3 8 2 inch, so I got 2 by 2 squares out of 3 8 I'm going to plug weld that on the top for a little detail. You'll see I radius this edge here. I'm going to radius this edge to go along with that edge. So kind of carrying the theme. I am going to leave it crisp though, this edge. I'm not going to round that. I'm going to leave this crisp like that, just barely bust the edge. I think it'll look better that way. I don't, you know, I just, I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'll see how it looks. I think I want to keep this edge crisp and this edge crisp and radius that. So let's do that. So I have these two clamped, these two clamped, and I can just 
manipulate these, I'm just gonna get it where I want it, hold it tight, just by hand, and give it a good tack. So again, I don't dig in. I use a flat disc. It's a 50 grit. Cut it 50. I just try to keep it flat. I just work it. Get it close and then come back and make it flat. If you, you can see where I went real light and how it's really close together and then you can see how far these are apart and you can see that shit has to come out. So I don't know if you can catch the reflection or whatever, but I can go over this real quick and come back and you won't see those. And then that's, then you 80 grit it. I'm not sure, 100% sure, but I think you would see those in the black powder coat and it'd be right on top. Right, right for everyone to see it, it look like ass. So take the time and get it smooth.
Okay. Take two. Take two. Four more. Four more of these, Randy. Beautiful. So what did you do? My buddy Randy uh, wasn't getting a good enough blow out of his red rod. <laughs> All right, this seems like a good place to stop. Uh, it's gonna be way more than I can do in one or two videos. So if you like the video, like the video, uh, share, subscribe, uh, and make sure you tune in for the next ones because there's some really exciting stuff coming up. Handrails, exciting. Can't wait, I know. See you then.